Yo, yeah, what's going on guys? It's your boy Azzy here in today's video boys. What I'm actually going to be doing is I'm actually going to be showing you guys the best competitive Fortnite controller exponential settings. Now that was a bit of a mouthful. So if you guys do go on to enjoy this video or this video helps you in any way, I'd much appreciate it if you could just take two seconds out your day by leaving a like on the video and also subscribing with notifications on. It really would make my day because a fun little fact, over 94% of you guys are actually not subscribed while you're watching this, you know. It's free, you might as well, it helps me out and it helps you out. You guys have got something to watch during lockdown. But yeah, the reason you guys clicked on this video is because it is the best settings for competitive Fortnite. So that is if you guys are going to be playing Arena, if you guys are going to be doing Cash Cups, if you guys are going to be doing LTM tournaments, if you guys are going to be doing anything where you really want to play good, these are the settings you want. This is the sensitivity you guys are after. But just before I do get into it, guys, I want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys that have actually been supporting me over the, like the past couple of months because it's been crazy we've actually been doing so well we're actually getting super close to 4,000 subscribers as well so i want to say a massive thank you for that and just the views on the videos as well they've been doing absolutely amazing like we're averaging about 300 views at the moment per video so like i said massive thank you to that and obviously obviously you guys are just here for the settings but i just wanted to get that out there and just say thank you because it means a lot but anyway back to the video let's jump in and let's see the best settings around shall we boys but anyway, the main reason you guys are here is because you want the best settings for competitive Fortnite, for playing arena, for just playing in general. And these are the best exponential settings you guys will find. I don't think I'm going to change my settings again after I found this. All right, so looking at this, my build mode sensitivity multiplier is at 1.7. Same as my edit mode sensitivity multiplier, which, and if you guys know, if you watched my last video, I actually had, I actually used to have my build mode sensitivity multiplier at like 2.8. And then I used to have my edit mode sensitivity multiplier at like 3. something. So I've pretty much put them in half this time and I'll tell you guys the difference that this makes is absolutely amazing I feel like this is the perfect sense for me. Obviously, I play on a Xbox Elite controller Elite Series 2 for that matter. I know it says it plays PlayStation in the bottom, but I've just got it on that setting because I was bored. I know, small things, small minds, but hey. But hey, moving on, this setting has changed as well. My look horizontal, my look vertical speed have changed massively. I used to play on like a 42% horizontal and then like a 45% vertical. And I ended up changing that up after I'd done the Reek controller setting video because his settings, they kind of just felt so nice for me. I don't know if you guys have the same feeling or anything like that, but they just felt so nice and so clean. So I took them settings and I kind of tweaked them up a little bit and tweaked them down. And this is what we are left with. So my look horizontal speed is actually a 48%. My look vertical speed is a 58%. And with this, I feel like I'm just so much better. I can just flick around the box when I'm playing box fights or if I'm in build fights. I feel like I'm just free. You know, I can just hit the shots that I need to. It's not too slow. It's not too fast. It's basically just right for me. So that's kind of lit. I can't lie. So that is lit. And obviously, as you guys know, I don't mess around with the look dampening time or anything like that. Any boost, anything, I don't mess with it, okay? If it's not broken, why try and fix it? All right, so moving on to my ADS speed right now. This is actually 13%, and this is probably the only thing I will mess with out of my settings because this, it just varies sometimes. Sometimes, like, it feels a bit too fast. Sometimes it feels a bit too slow. I'm not sure if it's just where they do updates or it's just me. I normally keep around the 13 to 12% mark. Like, it normally, it normally goes up one or down one. Like, it doesn't really change too much, but this is what I'm rocking at the moment. 13% is absolutely amazing. I feel like I'm hitting every headshot that I, like, possibly can. When I'm aiming down sight and when i'm even not aiming down sight my look vertical and horizontal speed has that for me anyway but look same on this as well ads turning horizontal boost off i don't mess with boost no 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 not today boy uh look dampening time zero look input curve obviously as you guys know exponential aim assist strength i actually play on a 52 percent no no one will ever do that maybe for a video if you guys want to see a video of me doing this but playing on 50 percent aim assist or maybe even zero then let me know, actually. It'd be kind of a dope video. Okay, so moving on to my dead zones. This is the final bit of the video, pretty much. And this is at a 9, and my other one is at a 7. And guys, don't just copy my dead zones just because your controller might be different. And if you change to my dead zones, your controller might have stick drift, which if you guys don't know what stick drift is, basically, if you leave your controller standing still, it will start to drift over to the left or to the right because they're just too low. If, it, if that happens, you want to go down to your right dead stick. You want to go down to your right stick and whatever it is, or even if it's your left, and just put that up until you don't have stick drift no more. But mine are nine and seven just because that's what I kind of like. I probably could make them lower, but this is just what I'm dealing with right now but anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy this video hopefully you guys are going to go out and smash it with these settings because they've really helped me within arena and just kind of in general like creative or 1v1s box fights anything like that where you need to play good these settings 
are the ones. I'm, I'm telling you, they, they, they are just too good, all right? If they don't work for you, there's a 30 day refund. And uh, yeah, but anyway, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Nevertheless, hopefully these settings really do help you out. If they do, let me know down in the comments because they really do work for me. Like I said, they've helped me in arena. They've helped me get better. Help me hit more consistent shots. Help my builds be a lot better and just my piece control on point. But yeah, I'm going to end it there, guys. I'm going to have a few videos on the top landing spots for solos and stuff like that coming out very soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, it's been your boy Aaron Azzi, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.